Okay, this thing's actually broken now. Man, I like this thing. I guess I'll have to go and buy another one. Well, that's upsetting. That's annoying. What's crack a lackalating, people? How the frig is it going today? <clears throat> Welcome back to vlogs. I got something in my throat. Probably not good. <clears> throat> Anyway, people, today is September 30th, the day of reconciliation. Not everybody has it off, apparently. I have it off because of the type of job I have, so some people are working today. Anyway, I'm making myself some a breakfast. So I'm not exactly quite sure what the heck I'm gonna do with my time off. One of the things I'm thinking about doing is going out to the garage and dealing with the mess out there, uh, getting it ready to accept the Trans Am as its host for the winter because uh, I don't know what the heck's going on with the weather, guys. It's freaking cold. I still haven't turned my furnace on. I refuse to do it. I'm one of those guys who will literally wait till the last freaking second to turn on their furnace. Like last year, I think I held off until December and I finally said, you know what? 58 degrees in the house. It's getting a little chilly. I also got to worry about this little shit because he's got no coat. It's so funny, really? I'm just gonna start freaking out because the camera's on you. Is that, is that what we're doing today? Yep. I gotta remember he's got no fur, so his thermals not gonna be the greatest. Probably should take care of him, make sure that uh, he can survive the cold. So furnace will probably have to go on a little sooner than later. Check this out. Yeah, a little food porn for you. Hopefully you enjoy food porn. Food porn. Food porn. There's still some things I'm working on in, in, in my life. I mentioned it in the last vlog that I, I'm trying to get shit sorted and stuff. So we're still working on that. But there's something that um, was brought up that about my shoulder, like go see a, a, a physiotherapist or a, a, a chiropractor. And that's what I really want to do because they could probably get in there and like adjust it and maybe make it not suck anymore. Because let me tell you, doing bench press right now is not easy. It is probably one of the hardest exercises I can do because of my shoulder. I can do like laterals, I can do freaking front raises, all that stuff, no problem. The moment I go to do any form of press, shoulder acts up. And it's because that's how I heard it, right? I heard it doing uh, push ups off of my uh, my sit up bar thing. Something about sizzling bacon that gets me in a trance. Anybody else like that? Bacon starts sizzling and you're just like, oh, you're so pretty bacon, I love you so much. And then forget anything else you're doing because the bacon owns you. I know right now Oreo, the bacon owns him, you can tell. You can tell the bacon owns Oreo. If he was any closer, he'd be in the pan. So yeah, I figure we'll have some bacon and eggs and then we'll go out to the garage and we'll play out there and get some cleaning done, get some rearranging done. Maybe get some stuff to put at the side of the road ferry. Just get some shit taken care of. I need to get my couch out of the house too. Still haven't gotten around to doing that. I want to get that gone so I can bring that exercise bike in. But I was thinking for the exercise bike, maybe we can do this today too. Dad was supposed to help me with it, but never got around to it. Not a big deal. Maybe I can figure it out. I was thinking, like I got all these weights here, right? Kind of ridiculous. One second, let me just turn on the light. Turn on the living room. There, let there be light. So I was thinking like, I got this bench over here. I was gonna put the exercise bike right here in front of the TV, hang this mirror on the wall so I can use it when I'm lifting. Cause I like it for when I'm doing my lifts so I can make sure I got proper form and, and see what's happening. Um, this bench, here's my sit up bench. I wanna sell this bench here. I'm thinking about selling this stupid thing cause I hate it. Probably should have done that during COVID. Would have got lots of money for it, but hey, it is what it is. And if I can get rid of this freaking couch behind me, which is covered in shit, literally. Plenty of room in the living room, Jim. And that way there, we can uh, freaking party like a rock star. I want to be a rock star. To hang this mirror, it's actually kind of easy. It's a heavy mirror though, but uh, there's this piece of board right here, right? But underneath it, if you can see there, it's got an angle cut. And then down below, there's a screw hole to mount it into the wall. It's also an outlet back there, kind of neat. So what I was thinking about doing was just hanging it on the wall on this stud right here. Cause there's a stud there, you can tell. I don't know if it's coming through, but there's a crack in the, anyway, yeah, there's a stud there. I was just gonna hang it on the wall there. Right now I just lean it up against the wall and let it sit up against the uh, carpet and we're all good to go. If I can get it out of the way, that's more room. And I need as much room as I can get. All right, breakfast is done. Bacon and bacon grease soaked eggs. Yum, yum. Something else I need to do, my tweaker light. Not, well now it's not even turning on. Hello. Well, I need to replace the batteries in this thing because uh, now it's not even turning on. So I love these ball cap lights, but guys, they're great for everything. So these take the CR2016 batteries. Basically these jobbies right here. Not the 2032s that our computers all take and love and stuff, but the 20 freaking 16. So I got a fresh pack right here. I'm just gonna pop these open, chuck them in the tweaker light, and then we'll have illumination. Always nice to have illumination. Shit. Okay, this thing's actually broken now. Great, I need a new tweaker light. I wonder if it's because it got wet at uh, Santa's Village. She got pretty soaked. 
Pretty saturated. Man, I like this thing. I guess I'll have to go and buy another one. Well, that's upsetting. That's annoying. That sucks big time. Well, rip tweaker light. You will be missed. All right, well, maybe I'll have to take a rip over Canadian Tire today too. And get another one, because I kind of like having that accessory on my hat. You know, you don't always have a headlamp on and having the ability to summon instant light when needed is kind of cool. Maybe we'll do a rip over to Canadian. I don't even know if Canadian Tire's open. I don't know what's open today, guys, because of this holiday. But one thing I do know is breakfast is ready. I'm going to eat. All right, guys. Well, shit. It's like friggin... It's like three o'clock, uh, I think. Maybe two o'clock. Is it three o'clock? It's two o'clock. I don't know how to tell time anymore. I quit. But uh, I just had like a whole bunch of coffee. You got literally a whole bunch of coffee. And we're gonna take a rip over to Canadian Tire because I really want to change my tweaker light. I need another one. I, I already miss it. So we're gonna go get one of those and uh, I gotta pee first. I went on Canadian Tire's website and I looked up those lights just to get an idea as to uh, if they're waterproof or not. Uh, this just in, they're not. So we'll take a rip over there. I just gotta go grab my wallet because I forgot it because I'm not used to leaving the house ever. I barely ever do unless I do and then... Oh shit, they were doing garbage pickup today. Dag nabbit, call Sarnet. Let's go take a rip over to Canadian Tire. Let's see how cold it is out here. It's cold in the house, but it's always cold in the house. The problem when you live in a haunted house, it's like five degrees colder than the rest of the world. Saves on air conditioning bills though, let me tell you. Just gotta deal with weird shit that occurs every once in a while. You know, one of these days I need to rip another fire back here. My wood's probably all garbage but ah, you know that, that'll work yeah, that'll work need to have another fire back here it's been a hot minute i really need to do something about this disgusting mess i got shite everywhere you know freaking no way the trans am can fit in here and that and i got to get down there into that shed area clean that out if i don't do it today we'll definitely do it on the weekend because i don't know what the hell this weather's gonna do but today i need to get a new tweaker light so pitter patter have at her head over to cambodian tire pick that shite up and uh go from there all right talk to you in a bit all right, people, we're down here at Canadian Tire. I'm going to run inside, get what I need, look around for a bit. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, don't know if you can see me that well, but whatever. Got you guys on the tripod on the dash. Somewhat holding. Cool. Well, I ended up getting this one. It's not the same as the one I had before. This guy's rechargeable, so now I got a whole bunch of batteries at home that I can't even freaking use. But it says it's waterproof, unlike the other one, so I don't imagine there's much of a charge in it. This also has multiple features, such as a low beam, a high beam, and a green beam. Not quite sure what the green beam is all about, but apparently it's for hunting, which is something that I don't really do. But here is the jobby here. Just simple. Clips on your hat, like a so, and it probably looks really stupid, but that's okay. And then it obviously needs a charge. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's got multiple LEDs on it. That's interesting. So, all right, we'll have to bring it home and charge it up. It uses USB micro, obviously, because everything friggin' uses USB micro. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna plug it right into the truck with the drive home just to see if it takes a charge. All right, let's go home. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. I really had to piss. I was like, I got out of the truck and I just ran for the house and almost didn't make it. But I don't know what the hell's going on over here, man. Um, there's like a weird truck over here and I don't know, maybe I'm pumping the sewer. Would you stop with the barking and just go potty? Like seriously, take a dump. Nobody cares. No, nobody cares. Take a dump. No, don't even huff and puff. Just take a dump. Go poop. Go poop. Like right now. Go drop ass. Seriously, pick a spot. Knuckle up. Squirt it out. Let's go. Let's go poop. What's what's going on with you? Are right, you going to take a dump? There he goes. Full on kangaroo mode activated. I was almost tempted to freaking go to the grocery store and see about getting stuff for kebabs and doing fire tonight and kebabs. We did that there when we were in Santa's village. Uh, my friend brought like a bunch of like meats and whoa that dog's poop smells fierce wow oh why do i gotta be downwind of that oh man dude what the hell's wrong with you oh he's got the mud poops too sorry for discussing my dog's crap but uh no she brought a bunch of stuff for kebabs and we made them on site and let me tell you kebabs are pretty freaking awesome like we had peppers and some other weird peppers that she mentioned and steak and chicken and mushrooms and there was something else too i can't remember oh cherry tomatoes that's what it was and like, you know, you stuck them all on your shaft and then you freaking send them up. I said shaft, you guys are going to take that the wrong way. I uh, don't mean that. Yeah, and then you just freaking bake it on the fire and then drive it on your plate and fill your face. And 
It was like by far the best dinner ever. I've never done that before. I never had kebabs and let alone fire roasted kebabs. So it was like a two for two for one. Oh, as far as this thing goes, I let it charge in the truck and it did charge up. So it does work. So like when you press it now, it turns on the green lights, which whatever. Then when you press it again, it turns on the low beam. And then you press it again, it turns on the high beam. Then when you press it again, it turns on the back of the green mode. But then to turn it off, you just press and hold it and it turns off. Now the thing is, is when you turn it on, regardless of what mode you have it on, like right now I got it on white mode. If I turn it off and I turn it back on, it goes right back to green, which is kind of pointless. So I just got to remember to uh, triple tap it when I turn it on. He is still crapping. Like he is still just, he must have something trapped. It's probably all the cheese that my friend gave him. Like she gave him a lot of cheese. So probably just like right backed up. She had bacon flavored cheese or bacon smoke. I don't know. It was really good cheese, but Oreo got most of it because it had bacon in it. So every time I went to take a bite, he'd just like jump up and take it from me. I could only have so much. Look at these two guys. Look at these two guys hanging out, just doing of course, Oreo's got to like get right up there. And... Helicopter head. Oh. He's trying to get by the camera and I'm blocking him. Any freaking enough tormenting the animals. We gotta go out to the garage and do some work. It's like 4.30. I'm, I've just been wasting the day today because, well, freak, whatever. Why not? Just uh, relaxing and watching YouTubes and haven't really eaten much today except for my breakfast. Anyway, I gotta urinate because I had three coffees. Cure eggs are awesome. I figured, like I said, enough procrastinating. Let's get after it. Do some freaking some stuff. I wonder if schools were closed today too. I never checked. They probably were. Anyway, I'm gonna go open the bay door. Do I need to open the bay door? Do I really want to? I don't think I do. Like I said, it's a mess in here. I gotta do some sorting. You know, we got a container here that we're never gonna use. We also gotta work down here because gradually this year lawnmower needs to go down here. Stuff needs to move around. I really need to clean some crap out. I got my old shooting range from last year when I was playing with the slingshot. I meant to make a slingshot range in the backyard, never got around to it because I was gonna play with my slingshot and try and figure it out. But you know, shit happened, never happened. So also I need to get Bender out because uh, I need to clean an area out with Bender. But uh, that also never happened this year. It's just been a bad year, guys. It's been a bad year. I wonder if uh, Fred's down there. Oh, uh, Fred is the chipmunk. I've never met anybody named Fred who can speak Spanish. And, well, the chipmunk can't speak Spanish, so I figured it was a suitable name. But anyway, I better get cleaning up in here first. Seeing how we're on the topic of Spanish, why don't we do a Spanish music montage while we clean up in here? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do a lot, but I did do some. I cleaned up the floor, basically got all the crap off of it, swept it a bit. I need to move my bike down to the shed. I need to move this into the house and I need to move this down to the shed. Problem is, is I might need this again because it is only September 30th. And if you guys remember last year, in November, I went for a bike ride because the temperature was like 32 degrees. But then the next day it snowed. So welcome to my life. There's another thing uh, that I found today though, was this. It's the freaking cover for my bike. Uh, for the, uh, I put one of these stupid ones on these glow in the dark jobbies. And I don't want to keep it on there because if you know anything about these aluminum valve covers, they have a tendency to corrode to the brass connector on the valve stem. And then you can never get the damn thing off again, which means you have to replace your entire tube because you went and put something stupid on your bike. I'm glad I found that because I've been looking for that all summer. So that's said and done. Before I bring the Trans Am in, I'm going to do like I did last year. If you guys watched the video, I pulled this guy out, put him in the driveway. A uh, lawnmower, like I said, is going to go down there. This bike, I, there's some work I got to do on it because like that. That's probably not supposed to do that. Oh, looks like it's just a couple bolts that are loose. Almost like they're just cross threaded. <laughs> looks like I just shit my pants. Yeah, looks like I just need to tighten that up and then we're good to go. I don't think this thing shows heart rate. Basically, I just want it so that when I'm working out, I can, it, it turns on. Just I'm gonna have to use duct tape to hold the batteries in position. I don't know what, do the, the buttons do anything? I don't know what you're scanning for. Scanning for aliens? 
finding them. And the power button is just back here. There you go. <laughs> uh, so you can hook in an MP3 player and it's got MP3 and you can turn the volume up. I don't think it's very loud, but we'll find out. We got tons of batteries for it. I, I couldn't find a spot on here for a power adapter anywhere. Uh, unlike my elliptical, which has a power adapter, this thing here just does not seem to have the ability to be powered by an external operation of sorts. Unless it's like located somewhere else on the unit. I don't know. I'm going to have to look this thing up and see because I, I want to order the power adapter for my elliptical. Because running that thing, well, the, the previous owner screwed up. The battery compartment obviously wasn't closing. Their solution was hot glue. Yes, they melted the damn thing shut. So I finally got it to open, but now I can't get it to close with batteries in it because I kind of aggressively opened it. That's all I know. But yeah, I want to get this guy in the house. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering, because I do tend to wonder a lot. It's a fact. I'm wondering if I should go into the house and start moving stuff around in there to see if I can make room for the exercise beastie clut. And then we'll just take it right in, set it up, and then be ready to rock. I should fix the handlebars first. I'm going to fix the handlebars first. There we go. We did it. It's done. The handlebars on this bike. Super not going anywhere. There, on there. How do we do it? with the old Signet Allen key set from dad. Yup, he hooked me up with the last Allen key set I'll ever have to buy until I lose them all and have to buy another set. It's the way she goes. And so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head into the house, move around some weights to make room for an exercise bike. Let's go. Now, basically, I'm gonna move the, the bike here. This bench I want to sell. That bench I want to sell. You're probably saying, Adam, why are you getting rid of this cap strength bench? Like it's a perfect flat bench for doing flat bench things. Well, I literally use this for flat bench things. Problem with this is the max weight is 300 pounds. So when you weigh 210, 220 pounds, the most weight you can use is 80 pounds on it. Who the hell wants to sit there and bench press 80 pounds, right? So the bench is kind of useless for me, but for someone like anybody else, it's probably useful. So might as well list it and get rid of it and then uh, move on to bigger and better things. That's my logic. All right, well, I moved a lot of the weights. I gotta move those dumbbells, but uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bench because that's where I wanna put the bike. See, if this couch was in here, this carpet we pushed against that wall, the bike would be here. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I wanna leave the elliptical where it is, but the bike would be here so I could sit down, pedal my bike, watch TV, get some winter cardio in and go from there. So we made a little bit of a cleanup. I got all the, I got a build or something. Like I said, if the couch wasn't here, so much better. I'm bugging dad about the couch because we were originally going to do a dump run, but we're waiting. My uncle wants to buy a new mattress for his bed and we we're going to throw his mattress in the, in the dump and dad wanted me to use my truck to do it so he didn't have to hook up his trailer to his car and go do a dump run. And I was like, sweet, if that's the case, I'll throw my couch in. Why not? We'll send the couch up to the dump, send the freaking mattress up to the dump. And if we have extra stuff in the garage or his house, load it all in the truck and just friggin' dump runner. But my uncle's kind of hesitating on buying a bed, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Figure it out. All right, I was just about to head out to the garage to uh, grab the bike when all of a sudden I realized I had shit cramps, so I had to take a dump. And then mid dump, I get a text. This weight bench is already sold. Just that fast. Already sold. Posted it, freaking gone. So. I'm gonna take it out to the garage, wait for the person to show up. 50 bucks in my pocket, sweet. Anyway, I have no idea when the person's coming to pick it up. I'm just gonna start moving the bike into the, into the house right now. So let's friggin' do her. And that's how we get done. All right, guys. Kids are like screaming over there and Oreo's freaking out. I had to bring him outside because the whole time I was working out here, he was barking away. I had to come up and piss. But uh, that opens up a lot more floor space now that that bike's out of here. So once I get this bike out of here and buddy comes and buys this thing, I just need to clean up down there. And then we're pretty much friggin' golden apples, boys. Golden 
freaking apples, boys. Like, it's gonna be just so freaking awesome. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be just great. The other bench, I'm gonna keep it. I like doing sit-ups off of it. It just feels good because, like, the other bench, the whole bench tilts. Where this one here, you can see, like, the butt pad stays here, but then it's really awkward to do. I found I found it really awkward to do sit-ups off of this one because your back kind of like your ass is sitting here and then your back forms around that and then it drops down and it it was really unpleasant. I could see it no, I couldn't even I, I can't see a single purpose why that would feel good at any point. Like even when you're doing decline bench press or anything. And the fact that it's a three hundred pound limit and I already weigh like two hundred and twenty pounds. That means I can use like 80 pounds. So two 40 pound dumbbells to do presses. I'll be there for all day trying to friggin' wrap out. It wouldn't work. Or even if I were to grab a bar, my I could put what? Maybe two uh, 215s per side, 30 pounds per side, bring it up to 60 to 82 pounds. I'd be a little bit over, but you know, I could just not eat that day to lose some weight so I didn't blow this thing apart. And I think the 300 pound limit is kind of low. I think that's what they put it as for safety. So if you exceed that and you hurt yourself, they can't be sued for, you know, shitty product. Makes sense. It can probably handle 400 pounds, no problem. Like, it's a full steel construction. The only weak point I can see is this pathetic little red bar down here that's like maybe two millimeter sidewall. That's your support when you're setting it up. Everything else seems to be pretty strong tubular steel, but I think we're pretty much done out here for now until we're not. Oh yeah, something else I was thinking about guys. Um, you guys remember that video I made where I caught that fishing pole? This one here. I got to thinking, what's the difference between a spin casting rod and a bait casting rod? There's nothing, right? That's what I thought too. I got an idea. It's a stupid idea. It's an idea nonetheless. I have a another bait caster here. There it is. It is a Rapala. I'm thinking about moving the Rapala, taking this spin caster off, putting the Rapala on, and then maybe we'll take it for a rip in the backyard and see how she do. Let's go. I totally just lost you guys. Anyway, we got it set up here. So we got the bait caster on this telescopic Zebco ready tackle rod. I don't know what kind of rod this is, if it's graphite, if it's Play-Doh, whatever. What the hell was that? Big just buzzed by my ear. Scared the crap out of Oh yeah, last time I did this, I didn't have the fire pit in the way. I guess we'll stand here and just sail it down the downwind. So, let's see if this is a stupid idea or a smart idea. I'm really leaning towards stupid. I don't think I've ever extended this rod. Oh, and guys, we have a, a hookless test bait on here. Oh, we caught something. Man, this rod is so flimsy. This would be a great setup for like, you know, banging bluegill or something, but definitely not for what I'm doing. You can sail it out there. Yeah, I just hit the back the backyard, so you can sail a shot out with this. We'll talk about more about that in a minute. I should check my phone to see if that lady responded about the uh, weight bench because uh, that'd be kind of nice to get rid of that. <laughs> I just got a text from my mom. Did you get kicked off Facebook again? Haven't seen you on today. See what happens? You take a day off from shit posting and people think you got banned. Like have some faith. Have some faith. People need to have some faith. Nobody has faith. Nobody has faith in old skivens. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I didn't get a response back about the bench, so I'm just gonna leave it here. It can do bench things. I'm gonna head back in the house, cause um, yeah, I'm pretty, oh, I should grab those batteries for the uh, the bike. We got duct tape in the house. That's what I'm gonna use to secure the batteries in, cause well, why the frig not, right? Uh, I'm gonna grab this pack of batteries too, cause why not? Always nice to have extra batteries on hand. I have like nothing that uses D cells. <laughs> Except for that. Well, I do have two things now. I got my exercise bike and my elliptical, but I do kind of want to get the elliptical on AC power and get the exercise bike. Well, I have no choice with the exercise bike because it was so cheap it was free. So, hey, whatever. Free is good. Free is happy. Free is awesome. All right, guys. And just like that, and just like that, we sold the weight bench. Um, I gotta deliver it though. I was asking 50 bucks for it. Maybe that's too cheap, I don't know. Probably was, because I had like three people echo up. And they're like, oh, I really want it, I really want it, I really want it. Oh, my hair. Huh, anyway. I gotta suit up here real quick. But yeah, they're all like, oh, I really want it. I really want this weight bench. One guy's like, oh, I really want it. Will you take $20? I'm like, hard no. Then somebody else was like, well, you take 40. And I'm like, no, 50 firms. And then, some people were like, well, I can only come and pick it up on the weekend because of things. And then, sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera here. Then other people were like, 
Oh, I can't pick it up until like Sunday or Monday. Well, I need my keys, right? That's how you drive a vehicle nowadays. With keys. Jesus Murphy. Pull up at him. This last guy was like, he wanted it, but he doesn't have a car. So Uber eats it to his house or whatever the health service they use. Sorry if you can't see me, the GoPro, I don't have night mode turned on because it causes a frame rate drop. But um, he's like, it will, it'll cost me $15 for Uber to go and get it, uh, get it picked up. He's like, is there any way you can deliver it? I said, sure, for 10 bucks. And he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, man, 10 bucks, I'll deliver it. So he hummed and hawed and then decided, yeah, sounds good, he'll take it. So I'm getting 60 bucks for it, whatever. It's not gonna take $10 worth of gas to go and deliver it, so let's go and deliver it. And just like that, the bench is sold. So it's gone, perfect. One less, did I step in dog shit? Totally stepped in dog shit. Lovely. Lovely. Just like that, it's sold. It's gone. Delivered. 60 bucks. Sure, you're probably all thinking the same thing that this that the last two people that I told I sold it to are, are thinking. That holy shit killer price. Because right now, exercise equipment for some reason is still inflated due to the pandemic. Uh, people are still selling barbells and, and weights at $3 a pound versus what they used to be, 50 cents a pound. Like when I bought the weight that I had, I bought um, uh, six 50 pound plates. So that's 300 pounds. And then a bunch of 10 pound, there was a seven 10 pounds, don't know why it was an odd number. And then two five pounds. And I literally paid a hundred bucks for all that. If that would have been COVID pricing, that would have probably cost me about a grand. Like honestly, because when the gyms closed down, Everybody went crazy for exercise equipment. All the muscle dummies went nuts. Anybody who didn't have a home gym was out there struggling, trying to build something to resemble a home gym just so they can get their, their, their work in, their workouts in, and not have to worry. Right now, what Buddy told me, the reason why he was buying the bench, is he's not vaccinated. So if you want to go to a gym right now in Ontario, you need to have proof it's just like going to a restaurant. You need to have your two forms of proof that you got your first and your second injection before you can actually go into the gym. So you have to present that and then you can go into the gym. You still have to wear the mask and you still have to do everything else, but you have to prove that you've been inoculated or vaccinated, not inoculated. It's not an inoculation. It's a vaccination. I get the two mixed up all the time. It's just the way the thing upstairs works. Anyway, guys, so that thing is gone. The bench is gone. That's perfect. I got my other bench. It's not like I'm benchless. I got both the Bowflex and my other bench. And the other bench is way heavier duty for doing any, every, everything else. It can take up the 500 pounds. She's a kegger. She's a tank. And I bought that bench after I bought the other one. I'm not too worried about that. But the other thing is, is the way this video started off was the old tweaker light. How good is this thing? You want to know? Well, okay. We're going to turn off the lights here in the garage. So this is green mode which I guess you really, you can sort of see. And this is white mode. And this is high beam. So it is way better than the old tweaker light, that's for sure. It really throws a lot more light. So I do like that. Like if we step outside here, you can, well, I kind of, screwed up because that thing turned on but whatever that was a poop there just trying to make sure i don't step in any more oreo bombs but you can basically i don't know if you can see the fire pit over there but i can it really throws a lot of light it's really good i can see right down to the end of the yard and well that's green mode apparently uh, i did research on green mode because i was really oh, i should probably turn that off I was really curious as to what the point of green mode is, and it's the same as like a red light. It doesn't blind your iris, you know, like you get hit with a, a white light and it causes your iris to dilate to allow the least amount of light in. Well, a green and or red light will not have that effect on your eyes. Therefore, you burp hard and you can play harder. No, that's not it. Therefore, it doesn't mess with your night vision. So also green light for hunting, animals won't react to green light. They'll react to a white light. They'll react to a red light. They'd probably definitely react to that if they're downwind, but they will not react to a green light. So that's kind of cool to know because hunting is something I do want to get into. Uh, I wanted to do it this year, never got around to it. Maybe next year, I found out there's a guy in town who does the firearms acquisition or the PAL, whatever you want to call it, as well as the hunting test. It's 350 bucks for both. And then you can go out and kill Bambi. So that's kind of sweet. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to shut her down here. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the way this vlog was edited, if you enjoyed it, you thought it was better. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything in this video. Uh, let me know what you think of the new tweaker light. And um, why am I so gassy tonight? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, like, subscribe, favorite, all that fun stuff. And until next time, guys, remember, fish, lift, cycle, never stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.